and welcome back to our duck hatching. We are going to do things a little bit differently today because we're going to do something a little bit different today with our ducks. So we are on right now is day nine. It's Friday. Um, we're on day nine of our duck development. I have my picture up here of what's happening inside our duck eggs. And I have my hatching journal. If you have yours, go ahead and grab it. We are going to be on the page that says the weekend report because it's the weekend. So we do three days today. We do today is day nine and we're also gonna do day 10 and 11. But I wanna just start with day nine. So we have had our duck eggs in the incubator for over a whole week now, which means we can actually take a peek inside our eggs and see which ones are growing and which ones are just grocery store eggs. And we do that with a little device called a candler. So it has two pieces. It has a very bright flashlight. And then this funny thing, it's almost like a microscope. And so I'm gonna be putting the egg in here and I'm gonna shine that bright light through the egg and I'm gonna peek through this hole and be able to see inside our eggs. I have and here so, a grocery store egg. It's even a little bit smaller. I don't know if you can really tell that than our duck eggs because it's a chicken egg is what we eat in our fridge. But this should not have a chicken growing. That's why we call it a grocery store egg. And so you see when the light shines through it, it's got the big air pocket in the bottom. Can you see that kind of, um, I don't know, lighter part? And it's just all yellow. See that? Oh, that I can probably even do this on the real camera here. Um, you don't see any veins. You don't see that little red spot. That's a grocery store egg. There is no chicken growing inside this egg. See that? If we so that, see that, what we just saw with this one, then we know there's no duck in there. Nothing's growing. Because after a week of, of um, incubating, we're on day nine, even though we can't see all the way inside like this picture, we should still see our red, dark, our red dot, that darker spot in the egg, and all of those veins that tell us a duck is growing. And if we just see a yellow egg that our light goes through, then we're not gonna get a duck out of that egg. And if we do see this nice dark red spot in all of these veins, and we still might not get a duck because things happen inside the eggs, we don't know. So, are you ready to see our duck eggs? Let's see if any of them have a real duck growing inside of them by now. So I'll tell you right now what I already noticed is these eggs feel a little bit heavier than how I put them in, which tells me there's something growing in here. Very careful. Oof. Well, they're a lot thicker, so it is a little bit harder to see with this. So I'm gonna cover it up. I'm gonna look inside this and I'll put my camera on it too so you guys can see. spot in the middle that's the start of our duck and you can see that you can see the veins around it so egg number one has a duck in it see him there wow so there's egg number one I don't want to keep him out for too long so I'm gonna put this guy back and let's see egg number two number two is a smaller egg he's almost the size of our little grocery store egg it seems on and take a peek okay same thing I see the same thing. You see our ducky in that one? I see a dark spot. I see the veins. There's the duck. And if I turn it more, look at this. You can see he's still not filled the whole egg, right? So that yellow part is like our grocery store egg. And then that darker part is the yolk that our little ducky is growing in. So we see the veins. We see that little dark spot of his eye. See him kind of moving a little bit in there. Egg number two has a growing duck in it. And let's get number three. Let's, let's take a peek inside number three. So there's egg number three. Once again, we've got that big grocery store part. You see that? And we got our big yolk. And there's egg number three. There's our little ducky. You see the veins around him. We see that black spot that's his eye. 
sometimes we see it we see that little black spot disappear and come back that's a little blink from our little ducky wow egg number three has a duck in it all right let's put them back and see number four There's a little tiny dial on the side of this. Um, you can kind of see it here. And that's what I'm spinning when we're, oh, do you see already? I see the yolk growing. But he spins sideways in there. So let's put our cover on. I'll put our second camera on here. There's our egg number four. We see that big spot at the bottom that says the air pocket and the yolk part. It's a bit harder to see. He seems like maybe he's a smaller egg, but we see the veins on there. I see his little black eye. He must be kind of facing away from us a little bit. But there's our little ducky, number four. Number four, we're going to put back very carefully. I'm covering it with my hand there, but there's number five. Do you see already on the side here? Let's put our camera on it. Let's explore egg number five. We're already right on. A nice dark spot, our veins, see a little blink as he comes in and out of focus there. Tiny little duck though right now, isn't he? Wow, egg number five has a duck in it. We got one more egg to look. Do you think we're going to have another duck in egg number six? Last one. And then we're not going to do this again for a whole week. There isn't time to rest. Okay, egg number six. I see the veins. The big yolk. I see my big X I wrote on him. I don't really see that little black eye spot though for this guy. Where are you, little ducky? He might just be lower down. Maybe we're not seeing it on this one, but I do see some growth there with our little veins and everything. Wow, there we go, number egg six. number six. I'm gonna put egg number six back and then we can chat about what is happening inside of our eggs. And do you remember what I have to do after I touch eggs before I do anything else? I gotta wash my hands. So we got to take a real look inside those eggs today, not just with our little pictures like we've been seeing every day, but we got to actually shine a light and see inside our very real duck eggs of what's happening inside them. And we can see that they're still very tiny. Um, maybe like the size of my thumb. That tiny little piece right there is about how big our ducks are right now. And when they hatch, they're gonna be so big, they don't even fit in the eggs anymore. So they've got a lot of growing left to do. But we got to see that all six eggs have something growing in them. And they're not grocery store eggs because we got to see those veins and those little tiny eyes on some of them blinking. And so we're gonna keep watching them and keep following along with them as they grow. If you have your calendar in front of you, you can color in day nine today on it. And let's take a peek inside them with our drawings and our little videos and see what's actually happening with their development today. So just to summarize what we've learned so far, we saw over days one and two, just that little red dot that just got a little bit bigger. Then on days three, four, and five, we saw those blood vessels start to form and they got bigger and bigger and started to look a bit like a bug or a spider. On day six, we saw that little black dot appear that was its little eyeball. And then on day seven, it kind of started to look like it's getting its body. Yesterday, we saw its heart beat for the first time. And then today, there's a little picture of what our ducky looks like. We see that body, we see that black eye, we see lots of blood vessels. And today, we can see that it's starting to develop a brain. Today, it has a brain. So that's what I'm gonna write for my sentence if I was just gonna do day nine. It has a brain. But because it's the weekend report, I also wanna share with you what's gonna happen inside our egg on Saturday and Sunday so you don't miss a thing. And so you can write just one sentence or you can write all three sentences. You can share about everything that's happening or just pick one thing that's happening. 
So today on Friday, we see that it has a brain and this is what it looks like today. But let me show you what's gonna happen over the next couple days. So tomorrow on Saturday, there's the baby duck inside the egg. And we can see the heart and the eyes are pretty easy to see now. And now the baby duck's bill is starting to appear. That's its beak. So the bill is growing. There's a picture of it for you to draw too. Lots of veins. We can still see it kind of looks like a piece of macaroni. It's big black eye, but we can add the little bill to our drawing now. So maybe your sentence for Saturday could be, the bill is growing. And so if you want to write both sentences, we have our Friday one that says it has a brain. And then today you would have your Saturday one that says the bill is growing for day 10. All right, let's see what Sunday will bring. Let's see day 11. So here's our little ducky on Sunday. It's getting a little bit bigger. It's still got that eye. It's still got its bill. We just see a lot more veins in this picture. So our little ducky is just getting a little bit bigger on Sunday. So for our sentence for day 11, we could write, look at all of the veins. And so if you want to write all three sentences and draw all three pictures on your weekend report, it would look like this. On day nine, we have, it has a brain. Day 10, the beak is growing or the bill is growing. And day 11, look at all of the veins. Those are the sentences I wrote. Are you allowed to write other sentences? Of course you can. Can you do just one picture and one sentence? For sure. Could you do three pictures and one sentence? Of course. We cannot wait to see what you do for the weekend report. After being kept warm for almost two weeks, our duckling is just continuing to grow. You can see the eye, the beak, the ears, the stomach, and the tongue are all beginning to develop. Have a great weekend and we will see you again on Monday.